We commend Sudanese activists and volunteers leading the response to the grave humanitarian crisis despite the imminent threat to their safety and lives, including false accusation of treason threats for both parties in the conflict, assassination lists, and smear campaigns against defenders, including women and children. Since the start of the war, hundreds were killed and thousands injured and missing, including women and children. At least four women medical workers were killed. The exchange of fire between the two parties in residential areas and in front of health facilities resulted in the killing of pregnant women on their way to give birth and preventing women from seeking health care and food for their children. Sexual assaults by men in uniform from both fighting parties were reported, including at least seven cases of rape. Cyber security alerts are increasing due to the rise in the hate speech and harassment against women activists in social media. Most essential services are not working, including electricity, water, health care, with no sexual and reproductive health care and support for SGBV survivors, and communication, internet, and banking, hindering thousands of people from leaving Khartoum. Displacement of tens of thousands of women and children increases the humanitarian crisis at the borders. We urge for an end of the war, protection of civilians, including activists, open humanitarian corridors, protection of women from SGPV, establishment of an international investigation, identification of means to provide emergency relief services needed and support of work of local volunteers and activists.